Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing the problem diagonal sums of a binary tree. So in this problem you would be given a binary tree. You would be given a binary tree that is 1 and then there is 3 and then there is 5. And then we talk about this. Okay. That is 2 and then from 4 we have 4 and then we have 6 okay and then we have 7 and then this side we have here 9 and we have 10 at this side then we have here 11 at this side then 4 has 12 at this side so now you are told that you just need to start if I build a line like this if I build a line like this if I build a line like this. So now see this with absolute care. So now they want the sum of each diagonal values. Like if we talk about the very first one, it would be 1 plus 3 plus 5. So 1 plus 3 plus 5, which is equal to the value that is 9. Okay. Let's talk about the second one, which is 2. 6 and 10 that is 12 12 plus 7 is equals to 19 that is why the second value is 19 talking about the third value we have 9 and 10 so we have 19 and then 11 is equals to 30 30 plus 12 is equals to 40 to itself okay so you need to print all the diagonal elements Okay, so now to be honest, whenever we talk about a diagonal traversal or circular traversal in a matrix or a tree, I too get afraid by the way. So if you are here with this, like I am also afraid because I never really had this question in competitive programming and I belong from a competitive programming background, not just DSA. So for me also, this was a nightmare. So let's talk about this problem. Now, if we see this binary tree, we can observe an interesting pattern here. What is that interesting pattern? If you observe that the root and the right child of it belongs to the same diagonal. See here also root and the right child of it belongs to the same diagonal. Let's confirm this in the next diagonal also. Root and the right child of its. Root and the right child of its. Root and the right child of its. There is no right child of 11 and 12. So it doesn't make any sense for testing for those. So I can say that for diagonal, they belong to the same diagonal for the parent and the right child of it. Okay. Let's see the same thing for the left child. So if you observe, this is the parent and its left child belongs to the next diagonal. This is the parent and its left child belongs to the different di next diagonal. This is the parent, its left child belongs to different diagonal. This is the parent, its left child belongs to different diagonal. This is the parent, its left child belongs to different diagonal. Now, what I can say is, like I would say, for D plus 1, it is the left child. Now see this. What I can do is I can recursively go for this current and the right with the same diagonal. Okay. With the same diagonal. And then for the left, I would go to diagonal plus one. So the pseudo code would look something like this. I would write it here. So return type would be void. Okay. So here I would have just 0, 1, 2. So here I would have just 0, 1 and 2. And I would show you why I have written here. To just save all the values. Okay. And I would just pass on. Say I would just say let's say this is the value of the parent. This is the parent node. This is rec of parent. Okay, rec of parent, initially it would start with the level L. 
सो आई वुड से दट एड दिस वैल्यू टू द लेवल एल एड पी टू द लेवल एल ओके सो फॉर लेट से दिस इज हैश मैप बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट टू स्टोर हेयर समथिंग लेट से वट एवर दिस डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एट एल शुड स्टोर ओके एड पी इन इट एंड देन दिस ऑल्सो वुड रिकर्सिवली गो फॉर द सेम लेवल so recursively go for the same level for p comma l only we add this in the p for the left child for the for the left child we would go to l plus 1 for the right child we would go to the same level so what i can say is recursively go for the right that is p's right go for the same level and for the p's left go to the level plus 1 for rec of p's left go to level plus 1 this is a pseudo code now let us see how this would work this is just a code of three lines now let me explain you how this would work see first i would just instead of rec i would just write r so this would call r of 1 with the level as with the level as 0 okay so first one would be added to this and then it would go for once right with the same level so once right is how much once right is 3 with the same level okay now 3 would get added Okay, now three's right would also go with the same level. Three's right is five. That is rec of five with the value as zero. Now rec has no right of it. Okay, no right of it. So if no right, then it would go for left. But rec doesn't have left also. So now for five, the value is complete. The value is complete. Whenever we go towards right, we would insert five. The value is done. So now for three, it is visited. See for three. So first we would add three. Three is added. Then three is right. Right is also done. Then we would go for left, but with level plus one. So now we would go for the left of this. So we would go to rack of four with the value as plus one. Okay. So now first four would be added. here okay then left so parent right and left is done so now 3 is done so now let's come the value of 1 so now once right is all done okay so now one is done once right is done so once left is remaining so one left is how much rack of 2 with this value plus 1 that is 1 so this value is now 2 okay so now for rec of 2s 2 is visited so 2s left is there remaining so 2s left would go with the same level okay that is 4 comma 1 and for 4 also it would go to 4s left with the same level that is rec of 7 with the same level it would go okay so if you observe the twos left of the same level so i took 6 this should be 6 this should be 6 not 4 so here i would write 6 and we went here so we would write 7 okay we would keep adding this in a in a place somewhere we would just store it there somewhere then comes the part of this one so now for rec of 2 left is done and himself is done for left so right is done okay right is done and himself is done the only part left is the right part of left part of it sorry i just confused left with right okay i hope you get my point so only thing that is left is the right okay so we go to the left with the value plus 1 so rec of 9 with the value of plus 
so 9 would be added here okay now 9 would call its right with the same value so 9 would call rec of 10 with the same value okay this would be for 2 this would be for 2 2 like this would be plus 1 goes to goes to the left part plus 1 goes to the right same level now this is also added to 2 so 10 would get added okay now for 6 something is left so it would go to rec of 11 comma 2 so 11 would also get added then force left is there so rec of 12 comma 2 is there so 2 would also get added so this is how this would this code would work for this so i hope you now know how this code is working now let's just compile up this and then we would start. We would use a ordered hash map to store everything we would just convert this to the code okay so we require a map of integer integer comma integer why this we need this and the addition of this so both are integers in both the scenarios okay so we need mp that we would name it as mp and then let's design the function so it would be a void rec okay and then we would just have the parent root and then we would have the level so now i would say if we are at nothing like we want to stop when we are at the left of 12 right of 12 whatever be the value so now most generic test case that if root is equals to equals to null return so i would just say if root is equals to equals to null return in that scenario then we would first add m of l that add to that level what the value of it that is root dash data okay fair enough then we would go to the p's right with the same level so we would say rec p's right R I G H T with the same level so i just wrote root so this would be p's data okay p's right with the same level and rec of p's that is parents left child with level plus one and this would just solve everything now we would begin everything with rec of root comma level as zero okay now we want these values in a vector so now we would initialize a vector to store everything okay so we would initialize the vector b and now we would need these values so we would require mp and now we would just insert everything in the vector p dot push back e dot second okay and then at the end whatever is present we would just return that now just compare it and see how many errors are we making so we wrote here root and this would be p now let us try to submit this again and yes we got an ac that's it for today so if you liked me writing the pseudo code and then doing the dry run and then implementing the code if you like this approach make sure you comment this so that I get to know what you like so that I can move forward with those ideas. That's it for today. Thank you and have a nice day.